What was it like working with Jack Bender again? Did you just pick up right where you left off or? Um, look, I, I, I always love working with Jack Bender and I've been telling people that uh, one of my first jobs in television ever, I did a show called I'll Fly Away and Jack Bender was the director and I was just like a kid from New York who flew in and, and did a role and, 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 and we made a connection right away. And then we did many other things. And the reason I'm married to the woman I'm married to is because of a show that I did with Jack Bender and he had some, so yeah, uh, we always kind of pick right up and, and just keep going. And uh, I like to say pick right up. I'm just hoping I can stay up with Jack Bender. who's so creative and so smart and so just great at what he does. And uh, I'd like to say pick up, but it's like me still trying to catch up. <laughs> so, I hear you. Uh, did you audition for this project or have you been in touch with, and, you know, planning it for a while or? I uh, know uh, uh, my good friend, Seth Yankowitz is the casting director for, mm -hmm. for this project. And he called me up and said, uh, hey, I have this project I want to submit you for. I think you're the person to play this role. Mm -hmm. Do you, Would that be, would you feel crazy if I did that? Or would that bother you if I did that? And I was like, let me hear about it. And he told me a bit about it. I was like, no, he's like, here's the catch. It's Jack Bender and also somebody else who produced Lost, Jeff Pinker. So, you know, just let me go work on it. He presented it and they said, no, no, we don't want anybody from Lost. <laughs> so, which made sense to me. Uh, okay, great. Um, they didn't want the comparisons, but then he talked to them a little bit more. He's like, no, I think this is, I think this is you. I think this, this is, this is you right now. This is you. And so he talked to some more and they, they agreed to talk to me and, and we talked about it and, yeah, then we all agreed. Like, like, let's get it. Let's do it. Here right. That is so cool. What drew yeah. you to it exactly? It, it has a lot of a Salem's Lot feel, I will say. Oh, yeah, the yeah. Oh, that's, a good, that's a good one. Salem's <laughs> Lot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he originally thought it had a lot of Wayward Pines. You ever see that one? Yes. Yep. With Fam yeah. Fam he Vincent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, he thought a lot about that too. Um, uh, what drew me to it was uh, the complexity of not only uh, my character, Boyd Stevens, I, I thought he was really complex and interested. Yeah. Interesting exactly. and, yeah, yeah, just like an injured guy who's still out there working uh, uh, to be of like service to this town, to these people, um, and, and getting it done however he can get it done. He doesn't have the the, you know, the easiest personality, but, you know, he really is trying to be of service. And uh, and I thought that that was really interesting and complex. And and then there's so many other characters that were really interesting and, and complex, like the, the family coming in. Uh, they, they just, I mean, as a family man, I just, I instantly thought of myself being in an RV with my family, right. trapped in some place that I can't get up. Monsters? Monsters? Actually, so, you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, so there were so many other uh, compelling things in the script that John Griffin wrote that um, I just felt really so excited to be part of. Uh, I just think it's really, really compelling and good. It's really an ensemble piece. Everybody sort of has a character that works together. So you don't get many of those television shows. So very lucky. You, you really don't. You, they're, no. they're usually like just one person. Right. But this one, you really get a lot of points of view. Right, right, right. What is the significance of the rock on the door frames exactly? He he mentioned some of it, but it, it's really like, where did the rock even come from? Who drew the you know insignia on it, the symbols? <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> That's exactly the question. <laughs> um, and 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 it, you just have to trust me; it will all be explained. But there there's a real significance to it. It just it's gonna take a little bit of time to unravel, and but we'll get there. You trust Got it. Me. Yeah, I trust you. <laughs> How long has your character exactly been trapped there? He looks like you know he looks like he's getting sick of ringing that bell too. <laughs> the calluses. He's just angry about it. Yeah, <laughs> like how long uh, has he been boy, there? Boy's been there a little over two years, I think, maybe. Oh, I can't remember now what we settled on. Two or three, three years. It might, it might be three. I can't, I can't remember what we settled on. Um, again, stuff that's going to come up, and that I can say because that that's not necessarily significant. But he's been there uh, for like three years. But there are people who've been there longer. 
right, uh, right. just know that. And so, right. Got and it. then the place was, was different when he got there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Different All right. Now. <laughs> That's neat. Right? Uh, what exactly, <laughs> what exactly is the nature of his relationship with his son? Is it a divorce gone wrong? What exactly is going on there? Again, you have all the good questions. <laughs> and, uh, and I actually have the answers, but I, I know you do. you'd hate me if I told you. Um, yeah, we, we certainly get to that. And, um, you know, it, it, I, I was explaining this to somebody earlier. Anytime you have a kid that you're estranged from, man, it's heartbreaking. And so when I think about it right. now, I still feel pretty heartbroken about it, um, even though it's something, you know, we created. Um, right. But... Um, you know, it, it, it is something that they've certainly experienced together that they both uh, see in different ways. And, mm -hmm. and, 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 and it's, le it's led them to where they are at the beginning of our show. Right, right. I like that we're starting to yeah. see his son open up to Ellis seems to be getting more with the program. You know, like, like as you said, <laughs> that's your father. Yes. Go! <laughs> Get in the car, fool! <laughs> Get in the truck, man! <laughs> What was your first day on set like? What was your first, first day on set? First day on the set was I got to work with the fabulous young Ricky He. Mm -hmm. um, the very first day on the set. Um, uh, what, what we did, which is really interesting, is um, except for Jack Bender, who had four episodes, the directors came on and they had a block of two episodes apiece. And so I think we started the first. My first day was the second episode, but okay. it was with uh, it was with Ricky He, and mm -hmm. uh, and Ricky was he had a lot to do in those first those first days. And oh yeah, he was so in and so full, and I was like, oh yeah, we're about to do the damn thing here. <laughs> like if this kid is bringing it like this, yeah, this is about to get really really real. And so right, my first right. day on the set was with him. And, and oh, I enjoyed wow. it. He's a great actor. Yeah, yeah, he's amazing. Would are you ever going to go back to musical theater as a musical theater performer? I need to see this. I do. Want to know. <laughs> I know nobody's brought Again, that up. You have years. all the great questions. I want to know. <laughs> uh, I, cer I, cer I certainly <laughs> hope so. I got to do some theater. Uh, I got to do a play on Broadway, uh, The Cherry Orchard, and yep. this is this is how this is going to answer your question. Um, I got to play a character who, like, you know, gets really excited about, you know, uh, by buying some land. And I do this whole big song and dance in the middle of this Chekhov play. Uh, <laughs> so that's my, uh, that was my, my, myself realizing that I do need to get back on stage and do some more musical right. theater. But that part isn't done yet. So right. when we right. find the space and the time, I'm definitely going yes. to get back and get to it. So. We'll one last <laughs> no worries. One last question. What was it? How how hard was it to get into the mental, um, you know, physicality and such of a void? I mean, those are dark places you have to go. You know, uh, what yeah. Was the that, and that that part is maybe that may be the toughest bit of it uh, of all time because I, I I the way I work, I just need to have it accessible, uh, accessible and and and. Um, and uh, facile, like it has to be able to move. I have to be able to move with it anywhere I want to, which means I got to carry it around all the time. Right. But I can't carry it around at home, and I had my family with me for a lot of it. So mm -hmm. it was it was a bit of a, a magic trick, like being able to to have that kind of dark uh, dark depression that Boyd walks around with the dark hurt. That's what it is, deep hurt. To have that there and available, but not burden my kids with it um and so it was a bit it was a bit tricky uh it was a bit tricky and uh a little painful like emotionally painful but uh you know it, it's 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 the kind of pain that you, we don't have in life right which right. is i knew when it was going to end right. <laughs> you know what i mean like in life you're like this is still going on 